Hello, welcome to my show. I'm going to take you through some ideas on how you succeed in investing. Maybe you have tried these ideas or you haven't. Let us now try them again and see to which extent are they going to assist us. So number one idea is diversification. And this is the backbone of investing. So if you want to invest, diversify in terms of time and in terms of assets. You diversify your investments in terms of time, it's going to be safer. Don't just go and buy a piece of plot on just a certain period. No. Buy commodities that you want to invest in on a spread period of time. It's going to be safer that way. Number two, assets. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So don't invest in a single unit. Invest in agriculture, invest in real estate, invest in business. This one is going to be a good idea. It's going to be profitable. If one fails, you cannot miss and in profit from the other. So number two, invest in the long term. So when you invest in the long term, you are going to get more profits than when you invest in the short term. In the short term, customers might not get to know about what you are investing in. The prices might not change in the short term. And therefore, the long term, the better. Number three, take advice where necessary. The advice that you take might be in terms of the taxes, what to invest, when to invest, and where to invest. So, the more risk or the more the challenges that you get, the better the advice that you get will help you. Then, control your emotions. When you want to invest, you have to control your emotions. Don't buy a commodity when there's pressure, when you have heard that the price is going up. And maybe if you leave until the price goes up, you think you are going to go a loss if you want to sell it later. Or you sell your commodity because you have heard that the price is going to go down or demand is going down. No. Analyze the market and sell your product at will. So control your emotions. Next, don't stay in cash. Whether you are in business, whether you are in real estate, whether you are in agriculture, don't stay in cash. Cash is affected more by inflation. So, make sure that when you have cash, you just dispose it off in terms of assets. And in such a case, or in such a way, the earths are not affected more by inflation the way cash is affected. So my viewers, thank you for listening to me. Have a peaceful sky. Looking forward to see you investing at least on something in this 21st century. Thank you so much.